Hey, what's up folks? I hope you're doing well. I recently had a performance issue with a query going to Postgres and PostGIS and I figured it out. Now it's running super awesome. And I thought I'd use that as an opportunity to show you how you diagnose and fix those kinds of problems. And we're going to be using explain and explain analyze to look at how a query is running to figure out how it could be running faster. So let's jump right in. Not you, 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 go away, you, front and center. All right, this problem involved the query that uh, the dirt simple post just HTTP API, which is, as the name of a project, does not roll off the tongue quite as much as I thought it would. But the Mapbox vector tile generation route was running slower than I thought it should. And I wanted to figure out why, because it, Slow is bad. Slow on the web is very, very bad. Now, this is the query that that uh, MVT route generates more or less. This is for a particular tile. And we're going to run F5 just to run that. And we see the immediate problem. 2.4 seconds. That, I mean, you think about it as a GIS person where you spend half an hour waiting for uh, ArcGIS something to start think that's that's amazing on the web that's that is not acceptable you can't have performance like that when you're fetching tiles way way too slow and I looked at it and I ran explain and analyze and I'm going to be running this from PG admin the reason why I do that is it draws pictures and that kind of helps you visualize what's going on whereas from the command line you're going to get just numbers. But either way, you can you can run this if you don't have PG admin access to your database and take a look at what's going on. Normally from PG admin, you hit F5 for this little lightning bolt and it executes. Uh, if we look, there's some other options. F5 executes, F7 runs explain, uh, shift F7 runs explain, analyze. And we're gonna turn on some options here. We're gonna, we're gonna put the timing and the costs and uh, we're just going to run it. We're going to go Shift F7. Off it goes, super slow. And we see an immediate problem. And the immediate problem when you're dealing with a query to uh, PostGIS involving geometry is if it's not using the geometry column index, something has gone terribly wrong. And if you look at your table, Here's that buildings table. See, it's got this geometry column index. We want to see that in our explain analyze, and we're not. And the reason is I did something dumb with this query. When I was testing, I was using relatively small data sets. The buildings has like four to 500,000 polygons. This ST transform, if your data is already in uh, WGS84, this doesn't do anything and you would never notice this problem if your data isn't and for a lot of local gis shops it won't be what this was doing is transforming the entire geometry of the buildings layer and then doing a clip with that make envelope and that's just bone die that's dumb that's very dumb so we can fix that this is what the query looks like now and all we've done is added this where clause. This where clause is doing ST intersects the geometry, and then we're transforming the, the tile envelope to the geometry of the buildings. Whenever you're doing a intersects or, or some kind of geometry on geometry comparison like that, and they're in two different SRIDs, you want to transform the one that has the least amount of features or complexity to it to the other one and not the other way around. Like we wouldn't want to transform our entire building's geometry to 4326 to use that little four point envelope to clip out with. What we want to do is take that little envelope and transform it to the geometry of the buildings and use that to clip, then transform the results back to 4326. That's going to be a much faster way to query it. So we're doing SD intersects the geometry and then we're transforming 
uh, the the envelope to the geometry of the buildings. If we explain analyze that, you see we're at like a minute and 45 milliseconds. So already we have like 150% performance improvement to make up a number. There's some math involved there, but it's a lot. But you notice we still have a problem that geometry index isn't showing up. Now, what I'm doing in with uh, DIRT is I'm using functions to get the SRID of the layer you ask for. And there's two ways to do that. You can do a find shred function, which gets the SRID from the geometry columns view, or you can make a little subquery like this, where it just gets the first record of the table and gets the SRID from that record. Uh, I prefer to do it this way, and the reason why is your login may not have read writes to that geometry columns view, and if it doesn't, that find thread function is going to fail. And this would bite me when I would update PostGIS, because it might recreate that geometry columns view, and when it did, it got rid of any extra permissions I added to it, like read access for the login that Dirt was using. So that's why I generally prefer a little subquery like this. But you notice it's uh, it's not using that building columns index because what it's doing with that transform, if we look at the, uh, oh, oh, come on. There we go. If we look at the uh, time here, it's, it's, uh, total time of 919, which is most of it, which is getting the buildings. It's what, what it's essentially doing is it is running this subquery because it's in this where function. It's running the subquery again and again and again and again for every time it is doing this ST transform. So it's, it's just hitting it again and again. And that's, what's causing it to not use the geometry index. It's a lot faster, but it could be a lot faster still. So how are we going to fix that? We're going to add another subquery. And this is a little non-intuitive. You think you keep adding subqueries, you're going to get slower and slower. In this case, it's going to make it faster. What we did is instead of running the subquery down in the where clause, we're running it in the from. So we're taking the buildings and this SRID from the first column and selecting the geometry and that SRID. So what that does is this subquery runs once and only once, and it gets this SRID value, and that's just stuck in this where clause. So now when we run it, with explain, analyze, if I focus on the right window, now we're down to 200 milliseconds, which is like a whole bunch of times faster. Again, there's math there. I don't, I don't do math. And we see this geometry index being used. And that is the big, we did something right here. By putting that subquery in the from here, instead of buried within the ST intersects, we have greatly speeded this thing up. So it's using that column at this whole, uh, so the aggregate here is taking the majority of the time, which is what we want. The query is nice and fast now. Now, what does this look like in practice? Now, let's see, I've got the developer tools open and I've hit disable cache. So, you know, I'm not pulling a fast one on you. We'll full screen this data. This purple and green you're seeing is our impervious layer for Mecklenburg County. Uh, green is residential, purple is commercial. It is drawing those polygons on the fly through dirt as Mapbox vector tiles. And it is amazingly fast. You see, as I drag around, you can barely see sometimes at the very edges of what we're looking at that it's still fetching the tile. But this is over a million polygons, and this is coming from a crappy-ass county VM with two cores, 
uh, out through the county is now we're over to my house here in beautiful wherever it is. You can just barely at the edge see it's it's still it's just fetching and drawing the tile. That is incredible. I was drawing those before with GeoServer as an image, and even GeoServer as an image, it was noticeably slower than that. And GeoServer is super fast. It's just the overhead in making those images is slowing it down more than just getting an MVT straight out of the database. Anyway, that's how you figure out your performance issues and diagnose them and, and triage and, and that sort of thing. And the newer, faster query is in Dirt now. So do a, if you use that project, do a git pull and you'll, you'll have it. I hope you found that helpful. I'll catch you later. Bye-bye.